hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is happy and my youtube channel name is happy uganda and today's video i'm going to do a video on how to start jewish making business so that's what we are going to look about today by the way if you're new and you haven't subscribed making sure to subscribe down there and if you have anything that you would like to share with us comment down below so let's go into the video okay so the question is how do you start Jewish making business first of all you need to think like the person who sent me a request to do for her Jewish making business number one you have to set your mi mindset positively you need to think positively that is the first thing that the business is going to work for you so when you put it into your mind that the business is going to work for you definitely it will set your mindset positively and the business will work out that is the first thing another thing when you're starting this business think about do you have an audience where are you going to put the business if you're making it at home do you have customers do you have demand because every business needs a demand so let's say that you're starting organic business like you want to do juices for waitress you want to do juices for healthy stuff like that do you have demand do you have people who are demanding that juice think up before you start a business first think about the demand the demand you have the audience you have and after that start uh, start up that business if you have the audience and if you have the demand that is very 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 good for you so after you have set your mindset and you have a demand and you're very sure that the business will work for you the next thing you have to do is to look for money enough capital here you need a juicer you need a brander because some people they want their juice like it's swizzed so i think a good juicer is between 500 to 600 450 in kaful i saw it brenders they are brenders of 150 120 uh, it depends anyway it depends then think about the brander and the juicer after that you need containers if you're supplying if it's a home business and you're supplying people you need jerry cans you need bottles you need um, such kind of things after that you need recipes you need to be knowing how you can mix your juices because you can't just make a juice you need to mix juices you knowing if i put passion with mango or orange with pineapple i don't know i don't know about the juices but you need to be knowing the recipes that will be good and produce quality when your juice is quality and sweet and nice definitely people will support you the demand the demand for your product or the demand for your juice will be very very high yeah so uh, mm, beside i have mentioned the brander a juicer and their prices and then fridge you need a fridge at least the cheapest fridge or freezer i know it is around a new one maybe 700 800 and extra to two million whatever so you need a fridge to store your juice and fruits you need a brander you need containers and all that so guys that is it for today I think I've given enough knowledge on juice 
making business. You can either do it from home. But nange muna nsonyua. When I was home, the light went off. So I came to work. That's where I am. And cars are passing. We have other uh, brick making next to us here. So they are shouting. So if you hear any noise in the video, I highly apologize. I apologize for that because water bottles are passing. Mm, we have so much passing here. So guys, you'll bear with me. So otherwise, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for making my channel successful. We have reached 2,000 subscribers. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe and we grow up together in this video otherwise bye bye guys i don't have much to say because really it's too much chaos here so let me stop from here when i get another chance i will do another video for you guys bye